there is a power among you. True power among you. Last year or two years ago, we showed the movie Freedom Riders. Which for those of you who don't know, Freedom Riders folks got on the bus and went down south and, and made sure folks were registered to vote. We didn't show you that because we wanted you to hop on buses even though voter disenfranchisement is a real deal. But we didn't do that to be like, hey, you guys should be getting people to vote. We wanted to show what some people at a certain time did when they recognized that something in the world wasn't right and this is how they were going to work to sort of repair it. And we want to challenge you all to think about what's going on in the world right now that your generation needs to address. And how are you going to address it? And that's the challenge that we want to put forth to you guys, is what is going on in the world right now and how are you, poets, with critical and creative thinking skills and the ability to articulate incredibly complex things to multiple different audiences, what are you guys going to do and what needs for you guys to do something? Hopefully you came here to listen. With an open heart and an open mind, you came to listen and to learn and to trust and to build your faith in other people and in yourself. So let's live beyond ourselves and our moments this week. This week, let's live for each other. It's four days. You got four days. Build a new relationship. I don't know, meet somebody you never met before. Come out your room when you're trying to rehearse so hard and go to the lounge and like kick it with people. Build a cipher with folks you don't know. How about you write a haiku on a rock for somebody you never see? That's what this week is about. It's not about your ego system. I'm telling you. It's what Mark Barmuti Joseph calls a creative ecosystem. We need your energy. 